of your true joy. It's like um, you're so alive inside, you know, you're, um, and you know, you know your rights, you know who you are, and you are, you are no longer, um, how do you call this, imprisoned by, you know, by being shy, by being, by being um, scared, by being, you know, we can't be like that, you know, we need to love this temple and if we do love it we shouldn't sin right and if we sin we have to ask for forgiveness right away and that's why jesus said right just ask for forgiveness and you will be forgiven right and jesus said that that's again the cross you know he's carrying our cross what a wonderful you know uh feeling even me i'm not even a real christian but because i've been involved my parents my mom, my aunts involve me with, that's why I love them so much. I truly, truly have my heart, you know, for people who have dragged me um, to Jesus. Um, I have friends that I love them too. They, 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 they didn't give up on me. They continue to pray for me. You know, in the power of prayer, they continue to drag me. Um, you know, I'm, if not for some of uh, these few people, you know, I could be weak and I could be devoured. Every day I'm sinning. Imagine, and if I don't have time um, for God, I could be easily devoured by uh, the Satan, and I don't want that. No, no. I everyone's careful for their property, for for uh, their car, their um, I don't know whatever belongs there, have their jewelry. I'm so careful for my you know my own self. I don't want to be turning my face away from God. If anything, that's what Jesus came down for. He wants us to turn our face towards God more and more closer and closer right so number um um i did number four right i said uh sin and slaves because we're gonna be um in prison okay just to uh to clarify this before we go to number six but number six is um sorry number five is sin degrades and humiliates right you see um this is this is what's going to happen and um this is just an older, older man. My uh, Filipino accent is coming out again. I live in Toronto, Canada, by the way. Um, so if sometimes um, I could actually speak um, okay English, if I'm saying full English, or I'm saying Tagalog is straight, no English. But if I mix it together, my accent, Filipino accent comes out here and there. So spare me. Because sometimes I like to speak my language and I will do at times in my channel because I'm Filipino. Okay. So it degrades and it, it humiliates. Of course, you go, you're going to self-sabotage yourself and it humiliates. You feel humiliated, right? Because you feel that it's not right. You know, it, you degrade yourself. And also, if you sin, if people are, um, are not, you know, knowledgeable of your sin, like let's say it's happened with them, don't you feel you're humiliated? Like you are, you are okay to hurt God. Just like this is a child, let's let's use the scenario, a parent who loves uh, their children, right? And the children have friends, of course, they have their friends too that they love and all that. And they follow them too, they listen to them too, but, you know, keep in mind the parents are, are, are you know, are guiding. God put parents for a reason, guys. Okay, stop blaming your parents, do something out of your life. And so, um, so, sorry. My, my chain of thought uh, um, was off track from, so I'm going to try to gain it back. Okay, so it it makes us feel um, down, degrade ourselves, because, and then we're going to feel ashamed. Because if other people know it, and then you're going to be like, oh my God, they know. And then you're just so focused on that. You are no longer, you're just so entangled in, in a swirl of that. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so ashamed of what I did. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What did I do? I'm so ashamed. See? Ashamed, right? Because why? Because we, our nature, we have goodness in us. Our nature, you know? So, number six, uh, sin steals joy. It will, of course, because now after that, you're feeling uh, dread. You're feeling weary. You, just like uh, Miss Meyer said, you need at least a, uh, a barricade of Christian to help you. You really need help by two uh, our two brothers and sisters here, who will guide us um, to bring us. You know, if you're weakening like that, if the devil got to you already, right? 
Um, so it's going to steal your joy. We're not going to feel happy after that. We might f fall into depression. We also might fall into alcoholism. During COVID, a lot of um, highest rate of divorces happened during COVID and alcoholism, right? So, um, I mean, you know, you become weak, right, during those times. I'm weak too. Trust me, I'm really weak right now. Sorry, it's just my, my eyes. I dyed my eyes. It's bugging my eyes. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, so number seven. Oh, this is really important. This is really, really, I'm so excited. I haven't read this, but I'm really, my, my heart is on fire. I just wanted to, to, uh, to share this to you guys. Number seven, sin steals our confidence before God, right? So, you know, we lose that, you know, without God, we, the confidence of that, okay, he's, our, he's, he's, he's uh, my God. Um, not my God, right? Like, are the God that, uh, that, you know, that created me. So I have to worship him. I have to um, obey him, right? So once you sin, honesty, okay, I can't do that. Sorry, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to avoid things that I was doing, you know, while trying to be a Christian, you know, trying to avoid. I don't want to swear or promise. Um, sorry, um, it happened to me. Right. Once I sin, I am even, even, um, shy or ashamed to pray or to, to, to ask God or to. Sorry, what's the best term? To even connect to God, I feel like I'm disconnected, just like a child who, who uh, made a mistake. Yet, right? Like, like what I was saying earlier, like that that child, will follow the friend, and will will disobey disobey the parent because, of pressure, and then that child. Right, because you know that child sinned because she listened to her friend. Remember, I did a um, illustration of that scenario, but then I, I um, my chain of thought. So it it will um it will drive you and drive you into more um, you know, feeling of how do you call it more ashamed, more ashamed, which is not good for you. Okay, it steals that. Um, you're ashamed that you don't want to connect to, like, like a child who who's avoiding the parent, even if they miss their parent, even if they love their parent, but they made a mistake, so they're trying to avoid them in in any possible way, a direct contact in any or you know even a simple conversation because they might, you know they might divulge whatever sin they have. They're trying to avoid. With, without you know if that's that's not how God is we you know he's always forgiving you know once you sin you know just ask for forgiveness right away before it drags you down into a bigger um you know, like what Miss Meyer again say right before this uh, we need the help of um, a barricade of Christians to get out get us out of the house because we become um, a couch potato um, I don't know what whatever your third term is I'm not big on terms. Or you become alcoholic, right? Especially during COVID, right? It steals your confidence um, that you know what I am a good child of God. That you, you know that confidence you have that you my parents did. I you know I can be you know I can be by I can be myself around my parents because they're my parents. You will lose that confidence. Trust me. In the same way with God, and I I know I know that for my own um own um experience. Sorry. Oh my gosh. Um, the wages of sin is death. Okay, sorry. Number eight, the wages of sin is death. I'm just trying to um, think of how I'm going to explain because again, I just saw this, right? Um, we know that, um, you know, I did a video that what, what's going to happen if really, if this COVID thing is really a wrath of God, right? See what led uh, what led us to for God's wrath, disobedience, sinning, right? So it will lead to death. Like our, you know, meaning like we could be alive in our body. We could be really like I don't know, pretty, good or handsome, or uh, smart, but you are dead inside. Why? Because you you have committed sin and you no longer want to address it. You're gonna um, you're going to camouflage those. You cannot pinpoint the feeling. You're going to camouflage it. We're trying to fix yourself. You're trying to fix your face. You're trying to fix your, 
uh, by putting um, uh, um, camouflage, whatever. I'm not gonna go into more detail, but that's what's going to happen. The worldly acceptance now is what you're wanting to do because you, you no longer have that confidence. Um, the, um, the sin um, um, made you that way, okay? Okay, again, I'm gonna repeat uh, the wages of sin is death. Okay, so number nine, God will punish sinners in this world and the world to come. Okay, uh, when I said that God is the Alpha, uh, God is the Omega, uh, the beginning, the end, meaning, you know what, before you came here, before you start um, declaring things that, you know, a lot of preachers are, are, they've been found out to mislead people. And that's the, the most sinful thing to do. You're misleading people um, to, to, to turn uh, away from God. What kind of person are you? Jesus came down um, to save you, us, but you're not, um, you are pretending using that, right? I mean, Jesus was already um, condemned for blasphemy, and yet you're, you, you're using Jesus um, to, for your own benefit. I mean, it's not really good. And this this is what, uh, when, when, when God says, God will punish sinners in this world and the world to come. Because no matter you or you're here or not, he's going to punish those disobey disobedient um, people or unbelievers. Um, it's really really crucial at this point to know you get intact of your own belief because it really is a crucial time. Again, we don't know what's happening to the world. It could be that I don't know. I don't know. I have no clue at all. I'm very, very ignorant in that matter. I have no clue. Only God knows. Um, and I don't want to get into that topic because everyone's already having their own, everyone's fighting already. It's a silent war, you know, what, as to what's happening to the world. I don't want to add to a more conflict or more complicated uh, topic. But um, it, we cannot escape the wrath of God. We cannot. It's been said you know, it, it has to happen. Um, so if you're disobeying, you know what's going to happen. Um, Google wrath of God. What's going to happen? And thank God that, um, I don't know if I'm really saved by Jesus. I, I'm not really baptized Christian. I'm trying hard right now so that I want to be saved. What's going to happen to those people that that are um, saved by Jesus Christ? He, he's not going to let us witness all this wrath. God, God is a loving God, but oh boy. If you are being disobedient, like, you know, a parent, you know, a parent will get so mad to their children if they're being disobedient. Why? Because God wants us to be good. He doesn't want to hurt us. If you're being sinning, you're being disobedient, that means you, you're you going to hurt yourself. That's the whole point of that, right? As parents, we don't want our children to get hurt. They're going to hurt themselves if they're going to go into that path. At the end, it's going to be more hurtful scenarios for them, more... You know, and they, you don't see that because they're young. Their brain is not fully developed. And God is the way. We don't know because we are designed that way. We do not depend on your own understanding. You don't know yourself. Trust me when I say this. God only knows you. He knows you more than you do. Number 10, a sin hurts the Lord. You see, um, imagine Jesus already in the cross. Um, I couldn't I couldn't watch the, that movie that they were um, crucified. Even a human being, if they did that to Jesus, right? So that's why the cross, um, I'm going to do a video of what's the meaning of the cross. Imagine he's already um, carrying the cross, for God's sake, and then you wanted to be hurting him? Like he already saved you. Um, why can't you acknowledge him? Why can't you uh, try not to hurt him more? Deeper and deeper, right? Turning your face away from God. Right? You gotta, he came down for that peace, you know, turn your face towards God instead. And through, the only way is through Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm gonna go for number 11. Sin hurts the sinner. Of course, right? The devil must be laughing, clapping, having a party. Whoever, wh whichever, wh wherever uh, he may be, he's having a, um, a countdown of like how happy that he devoured you from sinning. So it hurts the sinner, that that person itself. Sorry, it's just my daughter um, getting um, a little picked up. 
so I'm just getting distracted a little bit here. My apologies, guys, but I love you guys. Okay, so um, it hurts the sinner the most, right? And also, of course, if it hurts the sinner, the sinner also have some people under that sinner's umbrella, like children, spouse, like whatever, right? you know, in the community. You're hurting your, your church. You're hurting your community as well because the sinner is hurt. Therefore, the people around will also get hurt, will also be hurt, right? So it's just a chain of, you know, leading to one, you know, it's like a Jenga. You you made one mistake, boom. Like a mistake and mistake, and it's like a time bomb uh, about to happen. Okay, sorry. Number 12, I'm trying to, maybe I should do another video. No, okay, I'm gonna just. I'll see you guys in the part two. Yeah, oh my god, 40.